So I'm standing here on the edge of a, of a field, and the road is out here, and um, I'm, uh, I'm filming this foliage here, this nice green foliage, and I want you to look at the contrast between this dead field and the green grass, okay? Now what happened here was a few days ago, a tractor came through here and, and uh, sprayed the crop, applied uh, chemicals to this uh, field, I should say, and you can see a, a, quite a difference here between the green grass that did not have the chemicals applied to it and the dead grass over here that, that did have the chemicals applied to it. Now I want you to think for a minute here. I want you to think about what the implications of this are. Now, this is like a, this is like a, um, like a desert. This is like a, I mean, look at the death here. Think about the pesticides and the herbicides that were sprayed on this field, applied to this field, that just, you know, just for the purpose of, uh, of applying, of just killing everything, okay? Uh, another thing to note here is that uh, this field is a, a soybean field and there was uh, 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 soybeans already planted here. But you see, these seeds are just, you know, they've just been planted in the ground a few days ago and uh, they're, they're going to be growing in this culture of chemicals, okay? You think about what you're eating, if you're eating off of this crop, and they do the same thing, I can tell you, uh, first-hand first -hand witness here, they do the same thing with uh, corn and, 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 you know, almost every other crop. They spray the field with, this, with these chemicals that just kill everything. And, uh, and, and then they plant their crops. When you see now, you know, at the end of the day, they get more money. But really what happens is um, we eat. We eat from the, the, the vegetables that come from these fields. Okay, whether, you, whether you're going to the store and you buy, you know, you buy um, uh, corn chips or you buy corn or you buy, you know, anything made with any kind of vegetable, which, you know, lots of different things, even wheat, okay? Um, we got breads and such that are that are made uh, from you know that are uh, made with wheat that are grown out of fields just like this and uh, these fields are just saturated with these chemicals that just bring death and you wonder why there's so much disease out there you wonder why we're 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 suffering with so much disease look at the death here look at this look at this okay this is just amazing when you come to think about it. You think about, you think about uh, the implications here, okay? These chemicals are, are in the ground, saturated into the soil itself. The, the plants, um, be it wheat or soy or, or corn or whatever it is, uh, potatoes or, or beets or whatever it is, uh, they are planted in this soil. Uh, a lot of them are genetically modified I mean, scientifically uh, altered so that they can withstand these chemicals. But these these plants are growing in this kind of uh, uh, of soil, and uh, the the chemicals that are in the soil is being absorbed into the roots of the plants, uh, being absorbed up into the stem of the plant, into the actual fruit or into the actual vegetable itself. I mean, it saturates the entire plant. It saturates everything, and it goes into our food supply. Not only does it go into our food supply, it goes into our water supply too. You think about all of the, the who knows how many may, uh, acres have been polluted by these chemicals throughout the world and it goes into our water supply. Uh, I mean, this is very uh, disturbing uh, and, and, and that uh, governments would allow this to happen. I mean, look at here, you can see, you know, basically where the, where the tractor actually came in here and uh, started its, uh, the, its uh, crusade of death right here, probably started here and, and went around the field. Okay, so this is, uh, this is amazing. This is something that you should be thinking of. Every time you go to a store, every time you buy something that, you know, uh, anything uh, out of a store, any kind of food, you, you should be thinking, ah, you know what, if it's not organic, what am I eating? What are the chemicals that I'm, I'm uh, you know, absorbing in, in, uh, in my body, you know? And what are the long-term, you know, um, effects of this? And, you know, most of us, uh, you know, in science and stuff, they, they really can't tell us, 
the long-term effects of all this stuff. Because, uh, you know, we really didn't, I mean, you know, the humanity hasn't really used these chemicals for thousands of years to, for us to be able to tell us, you know, uh, what, uh, what actually happens here uh, to, our, uh, to our bodies and what this does to our bodies. So I would encourage every one of you, everybody that's listening to this video, I would encourage you to think about this, to think about when you go to the grocery store, if you can, and I know that organic stuff is, is, is a lot more than, than uh, other, other kinds of, uh, you know, produce, but I would encourage you to seriously think about buying organic for your own health, for the sake of, you know, for the sake of everyone. Um, buy organic and uh, instead, of, uh, instead of buying all this stuff full of chemicals that we don't even know the full effects of. And, um, you know, I just encourage you to think about it. Think about it. And, you know, for all of you who are listening here, please uh, consider uh, sharing this video. People need to see this. People need to see, okay, this is just at the beginning of the growing, the growing season here. The farmer uh, applied these chemicals to the field. The, you know, he planted his crops. And now the crops are going to start growing in this chemical wasteland. So next time you go to the store, think about it and think organic.